What's up, party people? I'm Burke Hawk, and this is Rock Talk. Today, we're in Toronto at the Velvet Underground to interview Candiria. That's right, Candiria. While they were sleeping, they removed themselves. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, Candiria. What's up, party people? I'm Burke Hawk, and this is Rock Talk. Today, I'm joined by... Carly Coma. And John Lamacchia. Oh. Candiria. Yes, you are. And if you were to describe your music to people at home, yeah. what would you... Candiria describe it as? Um, basically metal mixed with, you know, jazz and hip hop, experimental. And, uh, we call it urban fusion. Yeah. <laughs> brings all of the um, music that we are we we grew up in New York City so uh, we we've been exposed to so many different types of musics and cultures yeah. that we're constantly inspired by it and we've been incorporating that kind of music into the band for many many years and uh, yeah so people at home might not know mm -hmm. you guys were involved in a devastating accident mm -hmm. yeah. and it's really thank whoever you want to thank God yeah. Allah, whoever you want to pray to yeah. Yeah. you guys are here today yep. yeah can you talk a little bit about that experience? Oh, yeah, sure, man. Like, we were on our way to, we were in Batavia when it happened, right? Yeah, Batavia, okay. New York, which and is right outside of Buffalo. Yeah, and we were on our way to uh, Cle Cleveland, Cleveland mm -hmm. and uh, we got hit by a tractor trailer, 18-wheeler yeah. truck, and the vehicle was flipping over. By the time I woke up, these guys were already thrown out. It was just me and our driver, Kevin, yeah. like, uh, in the van. The van was upside down, and I was sitting on the, uh, on the ceiling. Right, and I just saw sparks coming in, loud screeching, and it was a beautiful day out, so it was just very weird. And I, I knew I was gonna die. I didn't know what was going on, I just knew I was gonna die because it was just intense. Yeah. So I just passed out, and then uh, I woke up later, and I crawled out the vehicle, I saw these guys just, Eric had like a, a brace around his neck, yeah. Uh, Kevin was walking back and forth. John was laying somewhere. Yeah, you like, didn't do no. He didn't well. do well. In fact, we thought yeah. the firefighter. One of the things that the firefighter said to me that really stayed with me. He offered me water, yeah. and then he took it back. He's like, "Hold on." He goes, "This guy's not doing too well. He might not make it." And then they gave him the water. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't remember much of it to be honest with you because no. I was knocked out. Yeah, read I, the pieces. You coming in? And yeah, out. I was. Yeah. I was in and out of conscious for several hours, and um, I mean, it was really like he said, it was a really a surreal experience because. Yeah. In the times I was conscious and coming back to reality, um, I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel anything. It was like you said, it was a very beautiful day. I think that was the most surreal part of it. Yeah. Yeah. It was so warm and beautiful out. That's that's my memory of it. Um, and then you know, obviously, when I finally did come back, you know, you start to understand that you're in a lot of pain, and yeah. you start to realize how crappy everything is, and you have broken bones. And how long was your recovery? Uh, well, well okay, well. How, right now, both mentally and physically, you guys still must be recovering. Sure, absolutely. I mean, I broke uh, my collarbone in two places. I broke my arm. I broke my rib. I broke my scapula. All all of this was messed up. You know, I still have a my my. Uh, I guess um, I'm like crooked a little bit, you know, yeah. still to this day. And, you know, we all carry that pain. He carries his pain with him. We all do. But, you know, you, you have to, you know, I guess you, what you have to do is you have to make a really, you have to make an effort to really um, take care of yourself and, and understand that you are going to experience pain because you were yeah. in a serious accident for the rest of your life. So, so you guys good. really are the example of perseverance. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Fa yeah. The first thing, um, well, the first thing, one of the first thoughts I had when I crawled out, crawled out of the van was, man, the tour's over. And then Kenny, our old drummer, said, I guess we're not touring anymore. So our first thought was, like, how are we going to complete this thing? Yeah. And we're just like that. So it's like um, we just, once we started touring again, we realized, like, with no fear, this is what we do. You fall yeah. off the bike, you get right back on and mm -hmm. get riding. Well, I'm glad you guys fully recovered. I'm a Thank big you. fan. Like, Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, I man. Just, you know what? Any band out there, really, but we've been doing this for a little bit, talking to bands, and you really kind of get to know people. You, regardless of your taste in music, we're all humans, and we really just wish each other safe travels. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Of course, absolutely. Of course. Of course. Um, so let's talk about the new album. Okay. The new album is? Uh, uh, while They Were Sleeping. Who Was Sleeping? What's While okay, We Were well, Sleeping? Okay, well, basically, <laughs> it, they? Uh, it, it's, it's a concept album. <laughs> yes. And basically, it's about a failed musician who rises up against a New York City monarchy. Yes. And basically, now that the record's been out for a while now, um, the uh, the uh, the antagonist in the story sets up a throne on top of the Empire State Building yeah. and st starts to brainwash everyone in New York through their cell phones, through social media, 
And uh, in that world, basically, um, updating your status is the law. So yeah. there's like all these things going on, but, really but there, cool. but there is really a backstory cool. between uh, the mother, the daughter, uh, and the sister. And the so I don't know if, if you tell me if you don't want to talk about this. Are you guys really are you political? I'm gonna tell you something right now. Uh, I, I don't have to no, go. No, no, there. I'll, I'll say because this because when no. I, I heard the album and I heard the concept to yeah. it, I was really kind of thinking what's going on in the world right now. Yeah. Well, all, well, basically, when, when when we started, like you know toying with the idea yeah i wanted to I, I took a look around the world around it yeah. you know and brought that into the record yeah. individually with my own life my friends lives and all the things that are going on so yes yeah, so there there's some stuff inspired about that i don't like to talk about politics yeah, yeah, yeah. On camera. i do think there is there is like this um almost like mirroring of of this concept in this story yeah. i do feel it's it's yeah. it's hard to not be affected yeah. by what is happening socially politically technologically in the world right now yeah. Yeah. and um it i think it does really it does reflect this story and concept does reflect that and um <laughs> We do live in a very uh, interesting time, to say the least. Definitely do, and this is our, our first interview post election. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. and wow. with an American band, wow. right? Yeah. So we actually yeah. left for tour the day of the election. Yeah, so, we okay. so we started. I think. So um, you got to vote. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, and like uh, Mike ran into a protest, mm -hmm. a yeah. Trump protest. Yeah, so. he ran into a protest in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it's just it's just a crazy, crazy time in, in our country, and. Um, you know, it's hard to speak about it, it because it because is, right? I think that the the interesting thing is, I don't think anyone really can make heads or tails of anything anymore. Yeah, I think no. the government is giving up on making heads or tails. They're they're ma they're trying to manage things. They're trying to manage. Okay, what's going to happen next? We can't. We don't know what's going to happen no. next. So okay, well uh, this polls, happened, and now wrong, how yeah. do we spin this? How do we how do we keep our country safe? How do we keep our our people from losing their? <laughs> I think that's what it's all about. Now it's yeah. about damage control. Right. Um, and you know, and and I think it's. You know, who knows? Maybe, maybe you know. There, there's all of these arguments. I mean, you know, Trump is this, Trump yeah. is that. He's our president now, yeah. and I think um, Mike said made a really good point. And like, look, we really have to hope for the best. We really have to do our best to give this man the benefit of the doubt and hope yeah. that 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 him, the vice president, and Congress and the Senate all come together and try to do some good for the country. Well, there's good you know? people there. Sure, there's yeah, gonna sure, be good people. Sure, they sure. can't all be bad, and they're yeah. gonna be fighting each other sure, man. In, in the government. Right? Sure, sure. Let's get away from politics. Let's okay. get back to Thank the music. You. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> we That's a whole other oh, yeah. yeah. We just lost that. half of yeah. our yeah. fans. Yeah. 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 How does the writing process work in this group? It's such an, uh, I guess, an eclectic sound. <laughs> figure that you know what we're dropping a jazz part here here mm -hmm. you know what uh, you, Carly, we, we, you're gonna we, rhyme here we you're kinda, gonna scream here we kind of like what well, for this record uh, one of the things I told the guys was um, I said you know what it's gonna be a concept album so what I wanted was I wanted the the guitar riffs to uh, like camera angles mm -hmm. okay you know to support yeah. to support the story so a couple times John would come to me with something I'm like cool riff I go, but it's not fitting what's going with the story here. Yeah, yeah. So he would go back and alter it. And of course, you know, we'd butt, you know, uh, yeah, bump yeah. heads here and there, but that's what makes being a candida so great. When mm -hmm. Everyone's very passionate about what they're doing. Is it true you <laughs> have a mathematical equation to oh. your, your writing? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's to, to vocal patterns? Well, I had to do that because yeah. these guys would write stuff. I'm like, there's no way in heck I'm going to do something over this. So yeah. I would randomly just start throwing numbers, like yeah. 13, 75, you know, 36, whatever, and like, and I hear the riff, and I just write words to so the amount of syllables. So you're counting beats per syllable? I, I'm just kind of just throwing caution to the wind and yeah. like hoping that it works. And that's how it first started. But after a while, I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right, that sounds good. And it fits it. Sometimes I have to subtract or add like another syllable. And then after that, I work on the melody. And then lyrics are dead last. One of the things on this album that stood out to me is yeah. how well Candira uses the bass as an instrument, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. the the sound of the bass on this album yeah. is unreal. Right. Uh, I think too many bands get away from using the bass as an instrument. Just right. follows the the. Yeah, you you're, know. Right. you're right. I'm yeah. so glad you made that yeah. point because I don't think people realize that 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 is like 
I mean, I don't want to speak about it too much because I don't want to give away our, our, our almost like our secret. top secret. Yeah. Yeah. But but really, there are so many bands where you're like, where is the bass? Yeah. Yeah. All I hear is this rumble underneath the guitars yeah. Yeah. or like a pulse with the kick drum. Yeah. Um, Mike is such a creative bass player and um, he adds a completely mm -hmm. an, an entire dimension mm -hmm. that most bands they just don't they have don't that. They don't take advantage. Right? They don't take yeah. advantage of that. Yeah. It's another instrument. It yeah, doesn't they have to the follow the damn guitars. Sitting in their pocket. Sh exactly. And, and they're it. not using. They're not utilizing that uh, extra dimension. So when you hear all this come together, what are your yeah. thoughts? Just mind blown? Like this is more than where I was thinking? Or no, I no, I look at it where it's like okay, it's like uh, it, it, it's it's one of the most beautiful things to see is um, an idea taking shape. Yeah. Because when I first mentioned in an interview that I want to write a concept record, I'm like, well, why did you say that? <laughs> well, yeah, now you have to do it. So I'm like, all right. So it forced me to have this a real intense focus. I picked up a book by Robert McKee called a Story, and it shows you, describes and explains the, um, the fundamentals of writing a solid screenplay, um, developing characters, having a killer ending, you know, Make sure that the characters are believable. Write them from the inside out. Take pieces of your life and other people's lives and put them in there. You know, they're flawed. I wanted yeah. to make sure that the characters in the story, even the supposed good characters, they're flawed. You know? So it, it so just to see, like, here's this thing, and people are gravitating towards it, and they're understanding it, and they're going back and forth. Uh, a lot of our fans are coming up to us, like, the record is in their CD player, or their, and it's nonstop, yeah. and they're just trying to dig and figure out what's going on. Yeah. And one of the things that I wanted to do lyrically, I wanted to hide a couple of Easter eggs in there. There's some things in the story that you won't find out about till like maybe a year later till yeah. after the 30th list. Well, let's get to the fun spin. part here. Okay. What impersonations do you do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, uh, well, you're, gonna, you're putting me on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you want to give him a little bit uh, of uh, uh, well, Theodore well, Rundquist? Okay, I, uh, on this tour, yeah. okay, <laughs> I created a character, yeah. right? And it's a little, <laughs> and like, I'm like, and so I picture myself like serving hors d'oeuvres with a big like you know like kind of dressed like you know like George Washington, like George yeah, Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and his name is Theodore Constable Ronquist. Hello, my name is Theodore Ronquist, the Constable. Would you like some hors d'oeuvres? So these yeah, are the things I'm doing. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> and that's just me holding back of it. But literally, <laughs> usually it's it's usually at the end of the day we get we get a hotel room. Yeah. We've all we just played a show. Yeah, Everybody's like relax, coming down. Dress. We've had a couple oh, of drinks yeah. maybe. And wait till it gets quiet. We, it gets quiet, and then he starts doing uh, this Theodore Runquist character, and yeah. it's, it's really funny. Well, we're not putting John. Did you do a Theodore as well? No, I no. just. Who did you do the English? You, you did because oh. we were in the, we were in the hotel room the other night, and I'm like, what's the Wi-Fi password? He goes, should I go in? English? I'm like, dude, go in. She goes, my good yeah. man. <laughs> I, call, I called the front desk and I was like, my good man, I'm in room 227. Um, I would like to know what the Wi-Fi password is. And we just, I just, you know, yeah, you go we just like, you know, look, we like to, we like to have fun. Yeah, we're, yeah, sure. we're, we're just lighthearted guys. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, we're having a great time right now. Honestly, we're, yeah. we're, we're really, we really are being, uh, enjoying being back on the road and hanging with each other and just like experiencing life together. So, you know, it's just nonstop jokes, nonstop yeah. smiles. Awesome. And yeah, yeah. It's cool. a good well, time. I appreciate your guys' time and yeah. your open and honest. Thanks, to, uh, man. We'll get by the political views because it's hard. It's a hard hey, subject. It, 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 like, it, it, it is because it, it, you say the wrong we're thing, we're like, ah, oh, there goes some fan base. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's so it. people will follow you all social media. Candy on Facebook. Candy on Facebook, Facebook <laughs> on Instagram, um, uh, iTunes, everywhere, yeah. everywhere. You Apple, guys have been around. Spotify, yeah. um, Apple Music, Amazon. iTunes. You guys were Amazon. around before all of that started, uh, so uh, you're right I there. Know, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Storms. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I appreciate your guys' time. No, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate awesome, it. Bro. Thank you. Right. Thank awesome. you very much. Peace out, party people.